Buenos dias. Safe practices are in order. Don't forget to wear your face mask. Make sure your nose and your mouth is covered. If you are, whenever you're taking off your mask, you take it off from the ends here. You do not put your hands in the front here, especially when you're in public. This is what will be received, will be getting all the germs. All right, so you don't want to touch this, which will get on your hands, which will carry germs and diseases. So you always take it off like this, right? And when you take it off, you always rest it, close it like this, rest it this way down, all right? Also, if you're finished with it, right, you went out for the day, you finished it. If it is a disposable, you put it in a bin. If it is not, you wash it, okay? You wash it almost immediately and leave it to dry. All right, girls. So, um, Benvenido, welcome, uh, mommy, daddy, um, grandma, grandpa, uncle, aunt, cousins. And we are getting ready for a very special day for mothers, for all the women who play a role in your life. And some of you may not have women, they have men who act the role as women, not act, but they do the things that a mother would do, not for um, by choice, but it, it some some people it happens that way. So that so we are going to do some art to celebrate that day. All right. So let me just share my screen. Okay. So. We are looking at our Mother's Day card. Now we are looking at and the Anthurium and the Heliconias. These are tropical flowers. Normally with Mother's Day cards or Mother's Day, we always tend to gravitate towards roses and carnations. I thought of let's look at our tropical plants. I'm sure you saw these. This, its home really is Colombia and Ecuador, right? Where it grows very freely here in Trinidad because of our location, it may need a little more um, nurturing. However, I'm sure you see this on the roadside, heliconias. There are many different types of heliconias. So in our design, we are incorporating the anthurium and the heliconia. All right, so you're taking a normal um, page. This is portrait and you're folding it in half, okay? And on the left-hand side, you're writing Happy Mother's Day, one below the other. If you look carefully, you would see, let me get my pencil here. If you look carefully, you would see that my pencil mark is right there, right? You'll see pencil mark right there. So first you write it in pencil, and then you do it. Then I want you to use your crayon. Remember we use our crayons. Well, to begin with, huh? this went a bit too fast. Write it in pencil and then in crayons, Happy Mother's Day. Those of you who don't have crayons, you can use your colored pencils. All right? Again, we are using our crayons or if you don't have crayons, colored pencils and you will draw for me the greenery. So just a stem some tiny leaves we do in this design and this design which is just too oval, right? So at this corner, we are focusing on our design. We're using a toilet paper roll and we're squeezing it into the shape of our heart, putting some paint on it, red paint, and we're printing our three hearts right within that corner there, right? Okay, so now we're gonna learn the parts of an anthurium. We have the spadix. This is the yellow part is the spadix. I want you to do the spadix, right? And when you finish doing that, the spade, the inside of the spade, which is the ribs of the spade, the ribs of the flower, all right? Notice too that the anthurium takes the shape of a heart. So we are using the heart, which is most fitting to tell our mothers how much we love them. Then I want you to use a small paintbrush to paint the inside of the anthurium and give it a little hook. Anthuriums tend to have a little hook on the inside, okay? 
try and get rid of all those spaces, you will see afterwards, all this that you're seeing, I just carried over with my brush. So even though you're seeing it, and notice how the paint didn't mix with the crayon here. That's the beauty of using crayons. The paint sometimes won't go on it, all right? So I want you to take the paintbrush, your smallest paintbrush and paint, right? Any mistake, you pass it over. That's the beauty of painting. You can go over your mistakes, all right? Here it is now, you can't see the mistakes, right? And now we're gonna paint in the heliconia using green, because we don't want it standing up in the air. I did the stem for the heliconia, and then we start the stem for the anthurium, and using the same green, I did the heliconia. This is just a line, just a line, okay? Just a line, and then I use orange. Sometimes the heliconia can have a bit of green in it, and I just painted some lines here. Here again, we did the same thing. So we have some at the bottom and at the top. I'm going to use my paintbrush to sprinkle the little white areas because we want to, we don't want it looking stark white. Okay. Now we're going to learn how to quill. Quilling is rolling paper. You take a thin strip of paper and you just roll it on your pencil like that. You see, as you start to roll it, you will actually, it will start to roll. Right. So I'm going to roll it, put some glue for it to stick, and I roll it on the other side. You could, you could figure out, you could roll it any how you want. You might want to roll it one side. I roll it both sides. I found a little bead and I put it in the middle. Okay, so let me show you my own hair. So this is my own hair, right? Where I did the quilling, I rolled it on this end and that end, and I put a little bead on the middle. Also, I chose a construction paper to make up my card, to make my card look bigger, all right? Now, I did not have pink but I used my crayons and I colored it pink. You didn't even know that. Actually, the color was orange, right? So I found pink was matching the colors here and I stuck my card in the middle here, okay? So here you can see, if I hold it up a little closer, you can see the little white areas. I have the sprinkles, right? My veins, my stems for my anthuriums and the base of my heliconia. And also you can see the quilling. I don't know if, if I hold it this way. You can see the quilling, which is the rolling of the paper on the pencil, which will give us a kind of 3D effect. All right, girls. So you have your cards, but you would have your card ready in time for Mother's Day. Don't forget, we always never forget our safe practices. So my mask was on the table like this. Look at how I'm holding it at the ends. And I'm taking it and put it over my ears, right? Like that. Okay. It's over my ears. If you have earrings, you kind of loop it out like that. Okay. Make sure it's covering your nose and your mouth. Okay. It's covering it. I do not touch hair. When I'm finished it, I will wash it. All right, girls. Have fun. Enjoy what you're doing. Adios.